Welcome, this is Frankie from BoutScript.com and we're going to be taking um, another look. We're going to finish up what we started last time where um, we found a website and from that website um, we could generate text in ASCII art, ASCII art. So um, I wrote a script that uses a website so we're going to test it out and then take a look at it. So we go dot slash and it's like the only file in this folder Okay, and then we type some text. How about hello world? Alright, so what it's doing is it's calling out to that web server somewhere and it's saying, alright, I want hello text written in uh, text characters in ASCII art. And then it replies and we look at the data it replies with and from that we make something that we can print out on the console. Alright, so we're going to open it up in nano Okay, and um, so we started off like a normal Python file. We tell it that we're going to be running this with Python, and that we're going to need um, we're going to need the URL library, and we're going to need regular expressions, and we're going to need sys or system, so that we can access the command line parameters, like how we just wrote hello world. And um, actually, I don't think. We need this. I was doing something else. Uh, we'll just kill the line. Okay. And um, then we have our function here. And this function, if you call it by itself, it'll give you the ASCII art. See, so it returns it here. So we're going to just look through this. All right, we have our URL. And um, it just puts together uh, the base of our URL that we found last time using Firebug in Firefox. And um, we add our text. That was our command line parameter, or well, we'll get to that. And we add our font together, and we now have a URL that we can ask the web server for. Okay. Mm. All right. So we open it as if it was a file, and then we read everything in the file, and then we close it. So now, um, in this HTML variable, we have the entire file, all the HTML for the whole uh, website that we requested. And then, excuse me, uh, we're going to move on, and we matched, or we're going to match uh, this regular expression. Because remember last time we said there was a pre-tag, and then some some characters in there. It doesn't matter what, so we're just going to say uh, any character, match it as many times as you can until we get to the next part of the pattern. So we're going to match a closing pre-tag, and then some more things. And an opening pre-tag, and then here's the part where we where we want to uh, use the information. So we're going to say in here we want to capture it, which is what the parentheses are, and then we're going to close it, or we're going to find the closing pre-tag. So everything between the second uh, opening one and the second closing one is what we're going to match, and we're looking for it in HTML, our variable we set, and we want the dot that we use a few times here to match everything including new lines. Okay, And then we come down here and we're hoping that it matched. Maybe if you don't have an internet connection uh, you won't get anything and we'll just return none. But if it matched we get the first group which is this in parentheses here and we have to do a little replacement because um, in HTML you write a greater than sign as and gt semicolon so we're going to replace that and we're going to replace less than sign and we return it and if we get down to our main here um, we just call our function and uh, we just join everything that's passed on the command line and we print it out and that's it and you could also use this in another program maybe you just need it as part of a program not the whole program so we could just import it. So we would do import ASCII in another file, and it would be great. All right, so we'll just run it a few more times. Um, and we're going to say all for now. OK. Uh, that's it for this time. And um, I'll post the full script on the blog and